are holidays. Sun, sea, sand, and a chance to relax. Lovely. Except for thousands of would-be holiday makers, this summer hasn't been relaxing at all. It's been a right pain in the Algarve. Yes, the past few months have been nothing short of catastrophic for the travel industry, and we've seen hundreds of you online and in the watchdog inbox with complaints about one company in particular. The company, Villa Plus. The issues, well, there are quite a few, including being hard to get hold of, refusing refunds, making you choose between your wealth and your health, and between being poor and breaking the law. With over 1,800 villas across Europe, the company are pretty self-confident when it comes to their services. Villa Plus, it all adds up to amazing. But Andy from Leicester found them anything but when it came to his family trip. We needed a break. We were tired, but that was one thing that kept us going. However, Leicester came, the local lockdown. For nearly a week, Andy tried to contact Villa Plus to discuss his situation. He didn't get an answer until the day before he was due to leave. I said, look, if I travel, I will break the law. And response? We've taken legal advice, and our legal team say that the uh, local lockdown is not mandated by the government. You are legal to fly. If you don't fly, you'll lose all your money. So I took to social media, and I asked the chief constable of Leicestershire if I'd have gone on my holiday, would I have been breaking the law? The response was, yes, you would have broke the law. So that surely gave you a stronger argument to go back to Villa Plus and say, come on now, look, the chief constable. Exactly, and I did that. Their response is, no, you were not breaking the law. That's all they keep saying. But it was against the law at that time for Andy to travel. So he felt he had no option but to cancel his trip. How much money's gone? 3,300 uh, pounds gone. Meanwhile, up the road in Nottingham, care worker Louise was looking forward to the £7,000 dream holiday she'd booked late last year. But when England went into lockdown, she was advised to start shielding. So she contacted Villa Plus to postpone the holiday, only to be told that wasn't an option. And it was like, that's no reason not to go. So you're telling us that you don't want to go on the holiday. No, we're not saying we don't want to go. I can't go, I'm shielding. It's against all the government guidelines. I mean, the, the point here is that if you were going to go on that holiday, you'd be putting your life at risk. Of course. We explained all this. It's not, just not interested. All our money's gone. All of the money? Yeah, Seven everything. grand. Seven yeah. grand. We didn't want the money back. We just wanted the holiday at a different date the next year, when it'd be safe for everybody. It's so, it, I'm sorry. It's, it's just... I can't believe that people can treat people like this and be allowed to get away with it. I really can't. And we've seen several big travel operators being far more flexible with their customers whose circumstances change. Consumer expert Martin Newman says he's heard from over 100 Villa Plus customers claiming they aren't being treated fairly by the company. The communication has been sporadic. It's been ineffective and it's left customers not knowing actually what the rights are. In this case, both Andy and Louise, there's no way they could travel. They'd either be breaking the law or putting their health at risk. Absolutely. Even if it's not a legal imperative, it's absolutely a moral imperative for Villa Plus to do the right thing and give Andy and Louise and their families their money back or give them the rights to rebook for another time when it is safe to go. Villa Plus says it understands the frustrations and says it's refunded thousands of customers when restrictions or FCO advice have prevented holidays. But it says in both our cases, as the villas booked were still available, the contracts were fulfilled. Because Andy and Louise decided not to travel as per ABTA guidance, it says it's under no obligation to offer refunds and that this is clearly set out in its T's and C's. But hiding behind the small print won't restore the confidence of customers like Andy. I've lost £3,300 for nothing, for no fault of my own. I will never book with Villa Plus again.